and uh, the owner of this car is going to be donating this to a museum when we're finished with it. Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be tackling this 2007 Corvette right here. It's getting some PPF and also as you see right here it says official Pace Corvette. We're going to be putting a full livery of the, uh, the Pace car graphics and so that's going to be pretty sick. So let's go ahead and throw it over to Dan. He's going to be doing the PPF and then I'll be tackling the vinyl. Trying to figure out what the hell I got myself into. Just installing that lower bumper uh, PPF here on the vet. Now it's this uh, grill piece here. Getting the film up underneath it. Now I'm gonna do a custom cut here where this uh, bumper grill is. The uh, PPF goes about an inch behind it, so I'm uh, thinking this is probably not uh, stock and was put on after the fact and uh, I cannot get to the, the film behind the, uh, the grill there to even squeegee it down uh, properly. So we're gonna trim it uh, short right up here against the, uh, the lower edge of that uh, grill. Came out well, just took a little time. left on here for the paint protection film is the uh, hood and the uh, fenders, so I'll have to grab one and go with it. You know, they had to bring me in, had to replace Dan. Dan's part of our A team. I'm the A plus team, uh, you know, plus size, I guess. So <laughs> we're gonna do the rest of this Corvette here. Um, we got the hood, the fenders left, and I believe that's it. So basically what I'm doing right now is uh, doing a quick wipe down of the vehicle, making sure we're not having any uh, imperfections that we missed during the prep process. Uh, any scratches, you know, rock chips, anything like that, any swirls. Uh, we want to make sure we get all that clean. I'm also going to check the wraparound edges, make sure they're all clean uh, before you install the piece. Because uh, last thing you want to do is uh, install the piece and there'll be contamination from uh, dirt, whatever, uh, or any rock chips that we missed, uh, it'll show up through the film. So um, we want to make sure we cover all our bases and uh, look over it thorough. So. Basically this piece is uh, not a bulk piece, this is actually cut out off our plotter. So it already has the corners cut and everything. So uh, basically I just have to line up the corners, uh, get it all squeegeed out and uh, make sure the stretch is all perfect. So A plus team, you gotta have that flashlight, make sure your alignment's perfect. Dan, he, he, he tends to struggle a little bit. Just so you guys know, I'm joking. He's the one that trained me, so. Just gotta give them a hard time. What I'm working on here is lining up, this is a, a pattern cut. So you can see there's a little notch. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but basically I'm just trying to line that up to the edge of the film. You don't wanna be too far uh, over or else it has the potential of uh, getting caught or uh, lifting. So you wanna make sure it's just short of that edge, like so. Then we're just gonna tack it down. So now like if I try and rub my finger, or catch the edge, you're, you're not having any uh, worry about lifting or anything like that. So far, so good. I'm basically just rinsing off all the gel um, so I can see if I missed anything, cleaning it up real well. Also, you don't want this gel to dry up because uh, it can turn a little crusty if it dries for a long time. So we want to make sure we clean it all off, look it over real well. These Corvettes are kind of a 
kind of not the easiest one to work with when it comes to wraparounds. They have like a molding that has a gap if you want to show uh, the people here. It basically has, let me grab a light, it has a basically a gap oh, yeah. that you have to wrap around this little edge and then tuck into here and make sure it's sealed down. Most uh, wraparounds are just flat, so you can just wrap around and it'll just connect. Uh, uh, sometimes they have a pinch weld or something like that, but Corvettes are notorious for being uh, pretty tricky for wraparounds. Uh, I'm gonna work on this fender next while that hood uh, wraparounds are drying. So I'm gonna knock out this fender. It's a pretty big fender here on this Corvette. perfect seamless you know so looks good though clean it off do the same st uh, step as the hood clean it make sure there's no contaminants no uh, big water pockets I left behind from squeegeeing uh, and then we'll move to the next panel I'm basically trimming off this bottom edge uh, there's a wrap around where it's not needed so I'm basically trimming off this edge just making a straight cut right here that way I can wrap the rest of this inside the door jam. Looking good. Just gotta go over the uh, wrap around edges and that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so we got the PPF knocked out on this thing, and, uh, you know, Nick took over for Dan, but I got nobody to take over for me, so I guess uh, I just got to do it. So let's do it. Be putting some ceramic coating on this car uh, today. That's actually what we're working on currently. Uh, this is a 2007 Chevy Corvette. It's the official uh, Pace uh, car, and uh, the owner of this car is going to be donating this to a museum when we're finished with it. We've already put the paint protection film on uh, the vinyl, uh, which is the customer uh, supplied uh, vinyl stripe kit. Uh, get it back to uh, original, I'm guessing, and then. Uh, like I said, we're going to knock out the ceramic coating today and, uh, and wrap it up and get it ready to hand over to the museum. The ceramic coating, like I said, we're going to do fusion on the uh, paint protection film, which is the flexible coating. We'll do the G-Technic uh, on the remainder of the vehicle, and then we're going to apply an XO product. It's an additional uh, ceramic coating, and that just basically enhances the main coat. the uh, main coating so I will be starting on the uh, the topper coating the uh, EXO coating that's the final coating that enhances the main coating so uh, just waiting for him to finish that door and we'll lower it down and, and we'll go back over everything he's uh, he's just completed I think we're good. Um, just no matter whether they want us to pull it out or not or wait. So we got this all finished up, the PPF, the vinyl, and the ceramic coating. So we got it pulled outside so we could give it a once over and just make sure all the quality is where we expect it to be here at White Club. And uh, once we uh, say that it's all good and everything, we're just gonna let the customer take it and it's gonna be uh, good to go. So thanks for watching the video, guys. We'll see you in the next one.